Hi there, this is Amir again from Simple Tech and wanted to do my third video. This is again mostly basic stuff, but we're just adding more elements as we go about it. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all open my file. I'm just going to go to open and I've created that folder called practicing word and basic word. You don't have to use the same file. I'm just using it if you want to. That's fine. Uh, we in the previous videos we looked at how to enter things and when you want to go to the next line you press enter the only time you don't press enter is when you're trying to type a line like in this case you don't press enter when you come to the end of the line you just keep typing it will automatically go to the next line the only time you will press enter when you come to the end of the paragraph and then you press enter we looked at the notion of backspace and delete if I click here hit backspace comes up hit enter enter goes back down we also looked at selection whenever you want to select something you just come to it left click and hold it and just drag it to select we also looked at that when you select something you can change the font that's the type of font the size you can make it bold italic underline we also look at the alignment of left center and align right. So let's continue with this and we'll just look at a few more options. There are a couple of ways of viewing your page. L uh, right, right, right now you are viewing what is known as a normal. If you go to this view option here you can select print layout. So you see the margins which is not necessary when you're trying to type it. So you can just go to view and normal. This just gives you what you need to type. That's the only area that you see. Let's look at something else in terms of formatting. If I select my name and I can go to format, go to font. Now here I can change all the things in one place. I can change the font type. You see it shows me the changes on the bottom. I can make it bold or bold italic, whatever I feel like. I can put an underline, a different type of line. I can make the size bigger. I can even make it small caps so everything will be in capital letters. I can also put a color on it if I want it. And if I click OK, it accepts the change. If I click Cancel, it will not do the change. So here, I've just made the change. And if you remember the Undo button, if I click on Undo, it just goes back to being the way it is. Another button that you can find very useful is the Zoom Factor. If you find that the word or the screen is too small, you can click here and make it 150% or higher. You can also go to view, zoom, and you can put a number up here or you can click the arrows to go up and down and choose the percentage that you want to zoom. You are not making the words bigger. All you are doing is like using a magnifier kind of a thing to make the things bigger so that you can see it easily. And at any given point, you think that I'm going fast, just pause the video, rewind, go back, come back to it. I'm trying to fit in as much as possible in 10 minutes uh, because it takes me like a two hours to get 10 minutes of video done and upload it. So it's enough information. I'm trying to go at a decent pace. So if you find that it's going fast, just pause the video. It'll be easier like that. So let's continue with some more formatting. We'll look at what is known as bullets and numbering. There are shortcuts to it and there is also the another way of doing it. You see these buttons up here? It says numbering and this one says bullets. So if I click the bullets, you see it adds the dots. If I press it again, it turns it off. If I want, I can put the numbering. Adds the numbering, press it again, removes it. You can also go to format, bullets and numbering. Now you can choose the kind of bullets you want, like this one or this one. The same way in the numbered section up here, you have options to choose the numbering. So whichever you feel like, you can choose it, click OK. Now that's what you have. I can go back and say none to remove the bullets and numbering. Let's look at the next thing is how to do tabs. It's also known as indentation. So on the keyboard, you've got a tab key. So for example, if I click here, and there is this button up here that says increase indent. If I press it, it kind of pushes it inside. I can use this button up here. 
degrees indent. If I press the tab key on the keyboard, it will only indent the first line. And if I hit the backspace now, because my cursor is right in front of the my M, it goes back. So again, if I click here, hit tab, it goes inside, I hit backspace, comes back out. Let's look at some more options. You see this button up here? It's, it's got a magnifier on a page. It's called the Print Preview. So if you click it, you get to see your page. You see the margins on the top and how your document looks like when you will print it. You can click on it to make it bigger. Click it again. And you can click on the Close button up here to close it. You can also go to File print preview. Same thing. Close. You can also print. So right there, there is the print. Or you can go to file and then print. Now here you can choose how many copies you want by choosing one, two, three or whatever. You can increase it. You can also decide, for example, if you had like a 20 page document, you could say one dash five. So that will only print pages one, two, three, four, five. Then I can put a comma and then I can also put say fifteen comma eighteen through twenty. So this way it will only print the first five page, then it will print the page fifteen and then it will print eighteen, nineteen and twenty. If you click OK it will print it. We don't want to do it at this time. I'm just going to hit cancel. So again, two ways to get to printing. Right from there. When you do that, you don't get all the options to choose. So if you go to file and then print, you get all the options to choose from. Sometimes you will find that your information is going to two pages. And on the second page, you only have one line. So it's a waste. You would rather have it on one page. So if you wanted to do that, you could go to what's known as File and then Page Setup. So if you think about it logically, like you see the word Page Setup, it just implies that you want to do something with the page. So when you click on it, the first thing up there you can do is change the margins. The top margin is says is 1 inches. You can reduce it to 5 inches. It's not 5 inches, 0.5 inches, or the bottom, or the right, or the left. Right here up here, the portrait is the orientation. It shows you a picture up here, which is standing up. You can make it landscape, like sideways, if you wanted your information to fit sideways. You click OK, it accepts the change. If not, you just click Cancel. So again, that is File, Page, Setup. Another thing you can look at is, I'm just going to select my paragraph. Again, a couple of ways of doing it. I can do three clicks, one, two, three. Or I can come up here, left click, and hold the left click down, and move my mouse over the words. If I go to Format and Paragraph. And now this is where you can start seeing the logical wording. You see it says Format, Font, Format, Paragraph, Format, Bullets and Numbering. We looked at all three of them. So let's look at paragraph. And the one I want to pay attention to is this line spacing. I can click here and choose double. So what it does is it puts one line empty in middle of everything. Again, it's all about selection. So you have to select. I can click undo to change that. I think we'll leave it at that for this video. And in the next video, I'll show you a little bit more stuff with inserting pictures and how to manipulate that and some more cool stuff with borders and shading. Thank you for watching and keep on practicing.